kind of like um, this. Let's put it on the the Phoenix. Ooh. Some of the solo the Phoenix or So that's the Phoenix. like that I like it I like it I'm gonna bring the other one in and blend it These are definitely two different instruments. I would tell you they sound different. As soon as I add a little more compression, it definitely hits a little harder. A little more saturation. And then the volume is right next to this so you can quickly adjust that because things will increase real quick. That's dope, that's dope. I like type one. I just switched back to effects. I'm go back. First of all, let's establish that I am no keyboard player. So I'm probably not qualified to do this review, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's start with Electric Keys Diamond. By the way, this is a new line that Native Instruments is starting, the Electric Keys line. So this one is a diamond. We are in complete control. And we are viewing the MK3 on the bottom half of the screen and the top half is the plugin inside of Ableton Live 12, the beta version. That's not really important, but just wanted to let you guys know. All right, so we're just going to dive in and just play around. I'm going to decrease some of that bass. Or increase. So adjusting the color is what give it that bite. Decrease the color gives it more of a warm. All 
night. I'm going to turn the intense up. It turns up the... The, tr the tr tremolos or tremolo. Reverb. Oh, that's right there. All right, so I'm hit the edit button. Go to effects, and I think I had the distortion on. Don't remember what that is, but it's cool. Okay, so the macro section reflects the home page. Okay. So the pickup. Turn the instrument on the, or the mic. It's got like this mallet feel to it. So you can really get in and tweak this thing how you like it. So the preamp. It's, it, I found the draft guys. <laughs> So let's turn it back on, actually. Hopefully you can hear what's going on through my horrible playing skills, because like I told you, I'm not a player. But you can hear the tone and you can hear the changes and things that are happening. So I'm changing the drive the draft type let me see if I could turn the instrument off okay let's come back in preset can't really hear a difference Okay, had to turn it on. The main deal. There we go. So we're transist transistor. Tape. USTB. Have no idea what that means. Okay, so what about the tone cabinet? Add a little more bass. So I'm gonna turn down the bass. A little more, little more. So then I could change it from 80s to 70s. I don't know if we can hear the difference. I'm trying to act like I can play, as y'all can tell. Switch over. This is how we change the tremolos or tremolo. So you got compression here, saturation. So I, I did all that just to show you guys how like deep diving you can 
be with this instrument here. Here's a whole nother section. Just by looking at it, I want to say that this, I feel like this goes into the characteristic of the instrument, right? You know how there's, there's actual instruments, vintage instruments that are, there are so many of them that are made, but they sound slightly different. You know what I mean? Because they was handmade and then there's like this warping or wear and tear that happens over time, depending on who owns it. And then the type of room, the chemistry, the atmosphere, the, the moist in the air that affects certain things. So, the, you know, there might be two of these made with the same exact parts saying, and it could be machinery that put it together, but they're not going to sound the same because they're in a different situation. Sometimes there's this other thing where companies do make improvements to their products. So there could have been a version of this in the next set that they released. They made improvements and that one sounds slightly different. You know how it goes. I don't even know why you even broke that down. So I feel like this is the that part right here that kind of deals with that. Make it sound detuned. Oh, that sounds good. And of course, if you are in the app itself, you, you're going to be able to go in here and do what you do on the screen, which is very interesting. This is my first time looking at this. This is wow. There is an extensive, there's always against an extensive list when it comes to these instruments. So maybe we can just play around with some of it. So I'm just playing with the effects, huh? Oh. Ooh. Okay. I, I say this is, this is cool. When you go to the effects, you can definitely control what you want, which is even more. This is ridiculous. Why so much options, yo? Why so much power and customization? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, You know, just looking at this, it just feels like this is a guitar rig deal because this is how the guitar rig is designed with the rectangular and, you know, the just yeah the design of it so it looks like that the guitar rig is working in the background which is great i love guitar rig so some of the effects there is it's coming over and you can put all types of effects in this man it's crazy this is this is kind of dope this is kind of dope um they had roads in here before you know there's a another version of rose but this line i think is is probably gonna break the internet if i can be truly honest with you these these things sounds pretty good and just like the level of customization you can do is is even bananas So that's like picking up the bell or the noise or it's just the mic over the road. That's crazy. Get more of a realistic sound. Okay, that's dope, that's dope. 
We're going to actually go through the keyboard and search for the next one, which is Phoenix. All right. So, you can hear the preset or the, the pre here. That sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. So, this is contact seven that we see here through the keyboard, and also it mirrors what's going on on the screen, which is. Really, really cool. Really cool. Let's make sure that it, I am only controlling this. Yep. It's only this one. Just, just, you know what I'm saying? Acting like I can play, right? So again, go through the add more color in there for a little bite. Say I didn't want the bell in there. Do want to put a little more effects. There is no effects loaded in here. So I know that I can go here and probably add like a chorus in here. Or yeah, let's add a chorus in there. And the information pops up as soon as I add it. This is serious, yo. And I'm, I'm just playing around with the chorus. The chorus sounds pretty good, yo. All right, let's go to another preset. For this video, it'll be like 50 hours long. That's not what we're going for. Okay, so we can get a real good tire effect on these rows. Hopefully I can remember that so I continue sounding like I really play for real. Okay. I these these things sound really good. I like it. They have two different characteristics. The Phoenix to me sounds more forward, you know what I mean? More more of a, a typical, like cleaner, should I say. Maybe, maybe not, because the different effects, obviously the different presets does give it a little bit more variation. But I mean, as far as I can tell... Let's 
let's pick something else to see what So if we go for maybe I'm going about it the wrong way. Let's unclick this here. I think that was kind of Yeah, I don't know. I think they just presets categories. Just you know, you know. I, I, I oh, you can lock it and unlock it. Check that out. This is something I would need to like dab a little bit more into to see, like what it, what is really doing. But I already know that I'm not going to care too much for that. I'm just being honest with you. I just go for what sounds good and put it in the song, and we just roll with it. But there's that that obviously has a damp on the the ease of searching getting to something immediately i'm pretty sure that's what this is all about which is really cool like i say i'll dive a little deeper yeah you know um for a quick second i forgot i was recording this video so y'all please forgive me but um that is electric keys right now it is diamond and phoenix let me make sure i got yeah make sure i got the names right So that is it for me, guys. If you enjoy this review, overview, first look, whatever you want to call this video, head on over to the description area where there is an affiliate link that helps me out on this channel for telling you guys about this, right? I get little points when you go ahead and make your purchase towards something as amazing as this. I really appreciate it if you're new here subscribe to the channel hit the likes on the video i really do appreciate that and um, if you have any questions just reach out you know and of course if this not work if this don't work for you then obviously don't don't click the link you know what i mean it's just simple as that you know don't be influenced by me <laughs> or other people you do what you need to if you feel like this works for you then go ahead and do what you gotta do but uh, click the link in to help me. You know, you've seen a lot of YouTubers, but help a brother out. <laughs> As if you're going to do that, you know. Help. Be culture. Lifestyle governed by art. <laughs>